So you want to have a pop network and your master node running on your Mac. So a lot of questions has been uh, going on on the Telegram and I thought uh, I'd just record my journey and use some of the feedbacks from Nexus and the support group and a uh, big shout out to them because they've done a great job but I want to save some time for them to focus on other stuff instead of just answering the same questions. So I did this video if you want to do and install your uh, VPS on your Mac and connect your wallet and do the staking. So everything in here will be super smooth, super easy, and it will be three steps. Uh, basically what we're going to do is purchase our VPS, then we're going to enter some commands in the terminal inside your Mac OS, and the third one will be downloading the real VNS, and then we're going to download from the GitHub uh, to activate it, and that's about it. It's very simple. Every single link is in the description below, including the commands. So all you have to do is copy and paste them from this. You don't have to look them up, you don't have to do anything. So let's jump onto this video. Let's begin by purchasing our virtual server. So you're going to come to this website, the link are in the description. So you want to pick the VPS 700 and you click on select. You can choose prepayments, discounts, whatever you feel like. Make sure that Ubuntu is your choice, it's free. And check whatever you need to add here. I'm going to leave it as it is. Click on next and choose if it's private or business and fill in your details and click on next. And then you fill in your credit card information and then you'll be receiving an email with your payment receipt. You're going to need to wait for the second email, which might take up to three hours. Mine took only half an hour. This is the email that you will be receiving. It has all the information and passwords and IP addresses that you need to uh, copy and paste later on. So to begin with, we need to fill in our install our uh, server information inside our terminal. So the first one you need to copy is the IP address. Once you copy it, click on command and space and type in terminal. Oops, and here you go, you click on it. And what you need to type is ssh root at and you're going to paste the IP address that we just copied. Now it's going to ask you for the password. You're going to need to take this password, not the VNC password, not the Quintavo password. This one right here, you're going to copy it and paste it. You're going to see that once you paste it, it will not show. All you have to do is paste it and click enter and things will work. Here we're going to enter multiple command lines. And after each command line, it might ask you to confirm or whatever. Just click on yes or type in yes or why. So the first command is sudo apt-get update. By the way, all these commands are in the description. So you just copy them and paste them on your terminal. And here's the second command. And here's the third command. It's not a command, you just click, on, you type in Y, and you're good to go. Or type in yes, or Y. And here's the fifth command. Click enter, and write, or type in the sixth command. Type in Y, and the final command is reboot. So now we want to download the real VNC and the link is in the description. All you have to do is make sure that you pick on Mac and you hit the download. Now we are going back to the same email and we copy the VNC IP and port, the numbers under this, and we open the VNC connect and we paste it here. You're going to see on the right, it says it's sign in. You don't sign in because if you sign in like this, it will ask you for email and password and we don't have that so uh, in this case we just cancel here we take that uh, the IP we uh, got from the email we paste it on this and then we click enter and then we go to the VNC password right here it's not next to write uh, next right to VNC IP and port and we paste it here okay 
give access. Then we go to next. 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 You need to choose your right uh, time zone. So for me, I live in Ottawa, Ontario. I'll choose that one. Then I click on next. Now you put a name for your server. You can name it anything. I'm good with that. So I'm going to just click on next. Now you need to set the password. So make sure that you choose a strong password. Make sure you, pay, you do write the same password again to confirm and then click on next. Start using Ubuntu. Give it a second or two till it populates. So, so now we are inside the server. You will get software updater. So you better do it. I think now it's really important to uh, get it over with. So make sure you install it now because you don't know what kind of updates does it have for the server. So I click on install now. You enter the same password that you just initiated a few seconds ago. And click on authenticate. The next step, you don't have to do it if it's your first time staking. You can see I've, I have already staking and I need to disconnect it because I was staking on my computer. So what I did is disconnect my wallet. That's the only thing. If you haven't done any of this, skip this move. And then I'll click on the master node and I quit the program. So I'm done from being a local uh, host for uh, the Pub Network. So now we want to download the GitHub link. So we do that from the Mozilla Firefox inside the server, not our regular Mozilla Firefox. So we're going to click on Pub Network GitHub, or you can just copy and paste it from the description below. If you do this in here and you were in Germany or the server that you picked was only German that was available. So you're going to go down here, you click on the ish stem and that's it. You're going to look, go look for the master node and you want to get the updated one, which is in the description below. So it's going to be a pop network master node 1.0.4 as of today. It could be different in the future. So make sure that you get an updated one. So for here, for this, we need to pick this one, the Pop Network Masternode 1.0 AMD64.deb. And in here, we click on OK. Open, not save. You can just open it with OK. And now, the description will start. Just give it a second. So now all we have to do is install a package. We enter the password that we talked about a few seconds ago and we click on authenticate. Give it a few seconds. We hit on the close and we hit on the red X on the top right. Now we need to do some settings for the server. So you're going to go to the top right, click on the power and it will open up. Click on settings. And we are looking for power. So we click on power and we go to the blank screen on the top right and we want to change the time of the blank screen from five minutes to never. Another setting that I'd like to do because it gave me some hard time with the screen settings and I need to set it up to 
the normal uh, just settings for um, the view. In order to do that, we're going to go to Displays, and we would like to choose the display that the resolution is 1920 to uh, 1080. So we look for it. You can see it right here. Where is it? It's right there. No, we'll come down. It's right here, 16 to 9. We click it and click on Apply. Click on Keep Changes. Then we go to the top left where it says Activities. We click on it. And then we click on the Type to Search. We're going to type Pop Network. We find it. We click on it. Double click. And now we need to connect our wallet. This is the last step. So we click on OK click on add wallet now we click on wallet connect and this QR code you're gonna pull off pull out your uh, phone and turn on your MetaMask uh, put your password and you're gonna click on the top right on your MetaMask on your phone and you're gonna grab this QR code once you do that you are gonna approve everything from your phone not from your desktop so once I did this it was done through my phone. Make sure you do that. So you know, we want to check is everything working fine. So I click on staking and then I click on the left uh, purple button where it says stake. Click on it. And here we go. We have everything set. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you loved it. If you guys are new to my channel, I do cover a lot of projects. I'm so bullish about, about Pup Network for now because I think it's just the start. So if you guys uh, first here, please uh, invite you to subscribe and comment if you have any questions. Uh, and thanks to the support and thanks to Nexus. He has, uh, they, they all, everyone was contributing to uh, making this video because we want to save everyone some time to get this done over with as fast as possible. Thank you and we'll see you on the next video.